Okay guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video, my second video of Blocks 2.0. And uh, now finally with Blocks 2.0 we're able to add our own Google Fonts. I'm just going to show you what a Google Font is and how to add it to your product. So if you go to www.google.com slash fonts, uh, you get basically a load of load of fonts uh, that you can add to your product. So I'm going to actually go and add this cool one here, uh, it's a cool font, just click on it. And what we want is click add to collection and then click use and then we get this little link down here um, you can select the one you actually want you can have ultra bold and it tells you the page loading impact on page loading times as well so not really gonna have a lot of impact but more jazzy fonts uh, of course will so what we want to do is simply just add this so to get this page up what we want to do is launch blocks just click create a new product go into blocks then preferences then want to manage fonts. Um, click on the little plus icon here, and paste the Google font header link uh, below. So to do that, we just click on copy this one in. Oh no, that spotlight not come up. Come on, there we go. Just paste this in. Click add font, and at the bottom here, what was it called? It was called Orbitron, which is just here, and it'll fetch it from Goo, uh, from Thingy for us, and add it to the uh, product. We'll add another one just to demonstrate that again. Very, very straightforward. Uh, scroll down. We'll find another cool one to use. We we'll use this cool one here. Click on Add to Collection. Use. Scroll down. We're going to use the normal one. Just copy this. Copy the standard key. Plus again, just paste that in, click add font. We've got another one, it looks very, very cool. Uh, just a warning, guys, you do need the internet connection within blocks to be able to do this, otherwise, it won't work. It will just give you an error message because it can't connect to Google Font servers to, to get these uh, fonts pretty much. Uh, and then just click save changes. And uh, to restart blocks, you'll have to do that. So just click X, do a cheeky restart up here, and create a new product. Gonna create some new stuff. Let's go on plus. Do that. Go into here. Now let's find our new font. See, it's all in alphabetical order as well, which is really cool. There's our new font. Uh, let's find the new one, which is. Should we find it somewhere? Oh, here it is at the top. Looks really cool. Uh, a bit small. Uh, let's make that. Bit bigger, maybe, maybe probably about 40. There you go, you can read a lot better now. I'll change the color as well to a black sort of color. So, just shows, and then you can, of course, live type in it as well. Uh, just, just a lot more freedom than you were able to deal with before uh, than with the old version of Blocks where you're only really limited to fonts that came with it. So, now you can have total freedom, really anything, load of Google fonts, thousands of them up on the website here. Uh, so, browse through any font that you want for your website, you can now have make your websites even more customizable than they were before. Uh, so here's just a short video explaining to people if you didn't know how, how to use uh, how to use uh, this technology, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's it for this video. I'll be back in another video. Bye-bye.